Hey everyone. The dreaded time is finally here. We are gonna start our new shift as the mortuary assistant. How are we gonna start? What are we gonna do? I wonder how similar it is to the demo that we've played. Auto saves. Appreciate it. I'm so glad it's almost over. Congratulations, sweetie. <laughs> Thank you. Connecticut. I'll never understand why you chose such a macabre field. There's nothing but... disturbing about it. It's just but that I... I'm proud of you. I really am. You've come so far. We're pretty. So, you haven't told me what's next. Will you get a job where you are, or...? They actually have everyone they need. But my old teacher, Mr. Delver, transferred me to his office to finalize my internship there. Oh, well, that's good. I remember you mentioning him. Where's he located? Are you moving away from me? <laughs> no. No, I'm not moving. He's actually located around What does the mom here. look like? River Fields. Oh, Linda Rebecca. Hamilton. I don't like that. I think Grandma, that's her name. Even I'm normally really bad with names, but just be worried people about you. Make up stories. Death is a scary thing to a lot of people, and we try to explain things we don't understand, and we want comfort when yeah. we lose someone we love. I mean, the mom looks no like the hell. Any ghost bodies or whatever. It's fine. Right, right. I'm sorry, but I wanted to give you this anyway. So here. I, I don't know if I want that. Just what is take it? it, please. It should be yours anyway. Mom, you have great lips. See, the mom takes after the daughter. Uh, the daughter takes after the mom. Thanks. All right. Enough spooky stuff. I'm so proud of you. Why is it when spooky? Is Tell me. Happen? When do you start? I've actually been there for a few weeks now. My review is tomorrow. That sounded like that truck was gonna crash into the cafe. It was coming straight for them. Yeah, I, ooh, I am gonna, I'm gonna be brave for this game, but I remember playing the demo, it was actually quite unsettling. Not even the, it wasn't even the scares, it was just the job. <laughs> right? Here we go. It was just like, Doing all the tasks and all the tube thingies and stuff. It kind of freaked me out, honestly. I would not be cut out for this work. Oh, this is this is a quick... Okay, I need to turn down sensitivity a little bit. Oh, God. How's that? Still very quick. Um... Or is it maybe this? I never know. This is much better. So this looks a little similar. Hmm. Can I wash my hands? <gasps> Look, mom, no hands. <laughs> I see this lady still here. Are your eyes open or closed? I can never tell. Or maybe gouged out. Rebecca, one last thing I forgot to give to you. Please grab a pencil from my desk and sign. Thanks. Zoe, good luck. Can't... This is... Okay. I, I should... There. I can focus. <gasps> pencil. Oh. What, uh... Access quick inventory and choose the item you wish to use. Right mouse button. Did I sign? I guess I did. Oh, there's someone already there. Rebecca, great, perfect timing. Two people. I just finished with Mr. Dalton here. Please wheel him back to cold storage and bring us Mrs. Page. Okay. Moving the deceased. Use the gurney by standing behind it and pressing the interact key. Okay. You got it. Hi. Can I look 
up as I'm doing this. I can, but very slowly. Cold storage. Open the bay with the body's name. Pull out the rack and then move the cart over it. He said Dalton, right? Oh. Dalton. turn you <laughs> very slowly <laughs> that's like <laughs> that's exactly the sound okay Nate put in the sound this is gonna be very specific Ocarina of Time the ice king who like wiggles to the side and he goes like nyo nyo That's literally what that is. Dorothy. So then I can grab this. This is the body we worked on before. You go in there, Dalton. See you later. What happened to her eyes? I guess she died. That's what happened. Look at her feet! Her feet are like wiggling a little bit. Alright, I'm just finishing up something here. So why don't you grab the clipboard and start recording identifying marks. I'll get out of your way when you're done and let you hop in here. Okay, it seems like the UI really improved since the demo. There's like much clearer like indication points and stuff. I really appreciate that. Um, okay, record any distinguishing marks. Start with the head. Hover the cursor over unique markings. Okay, rotate. Ooh. I don't like it. I already don't like it. Oh God. Okay, I don't see anything, honestly. I see a little scratch mark there though. Does this count? Is it a, a mole? Oh. Okay. I think that's good. Excuse me? Mm, these old windows never stay latched. That was the window? I am not okay with this. Why was that smoking? What is that? What would cause markings like that? Got anything on here? Ooh! Did she like fall? Nice bra. Looks comfy. She got them titties. She got bigger boobs than I do. Uh, I want to look at your other hand. Rotate. <gasps> Scratch mark. Great. Climb on in here and put everything into the record system. I did it! Don't forget to take the printout to the front desk so Zoe can add it to the packet for the family. After that, we'll get started. Character model looks really good. I'm surprised. Okay. Network how to enter cadaver information. What was that? I didn't say anything. You all right? No, I'm not. Maybe, yeah. maybe I'm we fine. should. Wait. Sorry. Why is he subbed and not her? Click the record system icon to open the program. Okay. Match the section on your clipboard to the corresponding section on the computer. Once all findings have been entered onto the system, click submit to print out. Okay. Oh, do I just? Get. Uh, I don't get to type it. I love typing. Hit. Right, left, left shoulder, right arm, left arm, right leg, left leg. So it would seem, is he gone? Oh no, you're still there. <laughs> it would seem that she's been attacked by a raccoon maybe. <laughs> Packet of mortuary paperwork. Dude, I did it. You proud of me? Oh. 
Awesome, look at that. He made it much more accessible. I really appreciate that. Because I definitely felt a little bit clueless <laughs> the first time. Was it... Oh. Oh. Uh-huh. Embalming report. How was... Oh, I forgot that the button was for the quick menu. Ah. Time to embalm. Embalm. Uh, here comes the really, like, spooky part. Jesus, help me out here, okay? <laughs> Give me strength. This is like the part where I'm, I right. get a little woozy. I've set everything out so you can just go ahead and get started. I'll be monitoring. Everything's on your list there if you need it. Oh. Do I have a list? Do where's my list? Ah. Okay. Wire jaw shut with needle injector and setting needle. That, uh, this freaks me out, man. This grosses me out. I would not be able to do this job. Needle injector, here we go. Okay, so it's the little... I Can we close the door, please? I don't like this. Okay. I don't look down the hallway as I do this nasty shit. Well, it's not nasty. It's, it's a very essential and good part of society. People who do this job, you're a saint. But I can't do it. Saying the face. Oh god. Oh god. Pull the manipulator up and press the injector button to drive barbs into the skull. Twist the wires to shut. Oh, I'm getting woozy already. <laughs> oh god. Do I do that? I don't know. Ooh. I don't know what I'm doing. Am I doing it right? I guess so. Oh, I don't know about you guys, but this this stuff makes me queasy. What am I doing? There that? we go. Okay. <sighs> Insert eye caps to keep eyes shut. Oh. Yeah, I've seen this in a YouTube video. Oh. Placing the eye caps, okay. Um, open up. Yeah, that's that's actually legit what they look like. So it's like these little caps, like with little hooks on them. So then when you put the lid over it, all right, the skin hooks into the the needles hook into the skin, so it keeps the eyes shut. That was the part in the YouTube video where I was like, okay, I've seen enough. Mix embalming fluid in pump. Gluter, the glut, the met, the hum, and the form. Glut, met, hum, form. Glut. Met. I can't hold anything else. I oh. can't hold anything else. Oh. Hmm. Sometimes we get chemicals that haven't been stored properly, and it can make them pop like that. You Just sure about that? Keep doing your thing. I'll get it. Okay. Glut. Mint. Form? That was the last one, but I'm sure mixing out of order doesn't matter. Was this the last one? It doesn't look like humectant. Oh, it is. Okay. Oh, I thought she was gone. But the dude's right there. I feel like nothing would happen, right? Make an incision in the artery and jugular vein with the scalpel. I'm legit getting woozy. I might need to take a break in a little bit. <laughs> um. Some items need to be used directly on the body. To use an item, open quick inventory and select the item needed. Okay. I need to grab some stuff though. Forceps to clamp tubing. Are those 
forceps. Yeah. Tubing. Okay, let's bring in the forceps. <sighs> oh god. Are you okay with this? I guess, yeah, you're supervising me, so... Is that normal? Okay, let's wait for it to drain. It's crazy that they... That so much goes into preparing a body like that. Whereas I'd just be like, throw me in an oven, incinerate me, reduce me to ashes. I don't want to, I don't want anything left that can rot. It freaks me out. Uh, okay. Turn off pump, remove tubes, close incision. Let's get those out of there. Close you up. Easy. See how quick I did that? I'm a pro. Oh, I don't like your shadow on the wall, though. Kind of creeping me out. Fill an empty reservoir, IV reservoir bag with cavity fluid. Insert chalker. That must be the last kind of things. Um, dude, weren't you gonna, like... I can't hold anything else. Oh, because it's a large item. I can't use that here. Can I drop it, though? Because I'm like, I'm grabbing the wrong things. Empty bag with cavity fluid. Was there something there? Did my eyes just deceive me? Oh, that's nice though. Birdies. Peace and quiet. Drop it. Okay. Figured it out. Okay, now it's full. Add abdominal cavity. Ooh, yeah, this is. Dude, that is so gross. <sighs> you can see it under the skin. There we go. <sighs> okay. You want me to go here? Mix cleaners in bathroom closet to create tank cleaner. Oh, we're gonna clean? Oh. Tank cleaner. Add descaler to create the mixture needed. Oh, that's not it. Uh, what's the other one then? If you were a descaler, where would you be? She was definitely in the reflection just now. Looking wild. Oh, that scared me. Okay. Oh, mixture of corrosion inhibitors. Wait, I already got it. Do I do I pour that in? I thought I was looking for a descaler, but I mixed it somehow. Don't ask me how. Uh, mix cleaner in bathroom closet. Yes, pour into the... Apply moisturizer to facial features. Moisturizer. 
Where do I find that? I did it. All clean. Oh. Moisturizing wipe. Am I doing it? Ooh. That's not what's supposed to happen. Tell you what. What? Why don't you go ahead and head out? I'll take over from here. I you I bet you he saw Are something. You sure, I just got here. Don't worry, you're doing great. I'll get the last of your paperwork sorted today and call you in for your first shift. If you say so. But I'm almost done. Do go I? Ahead. It's fine. I'll give you a call when we get someone in. Okay, well, bye. See you later. Don't get killed. I bet you he saw something. Like, he got visions too, and he's like, oh, I should protect her and do it myself. It was just really weird. So some stuff fell over. That's not a big deal. No, I know. It, it wasn't even my fault, but he sent me home right after that. I'm just really worried. He was supposed to finalize my stuff today. And he said he would, right? <laughs> yeah. So that's a good thing. Yeah, it just didn't feel like he meant it. Like, like he just said it to get me out of the building. Uh, wait a sec, I have another call. Hello? Hey, Rebecca. It's Raymond. Oh, hi, Mr. Delver. Uh, look, if I did anything wrong today, just... No, no. Uh, I wanted to apologize. You've done a fantastic job. I'm just not feeling too well. Uh -uh. That's uh, actually why I'm calling. I know it's late, but we just got three new cadavers, and no one else can make it in right now. I was hoping you could come in and take care of them. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, are you sure? I mean, of course. <laughs> Okay. Take care of the rest of your onboarding. We're all set. And your new badge is in your personal belongings drawer in the back room. That's great. Uh, thank you. I I'm on my way right now. I hope you feel better. Thanks again. So he had See the nope out of there. Bye. Holy shit. That was him. He signed me on. He needs me to come in tonight. <gasps> See? I told you it was fine. Congratulations. Thanks. I have to go, like, right now. I'll talk to you later. Okay, so this is what we saw in the Where demo, are right? My keys? I remember something like that. Temporary items. Uh, okay. Uh, I should turn off the radio. Can't leave that on. I'm about to head out. Should I brush my teeth? Guess not. I guess the dead are not going to smell my breath. Huh. And there's not going to be anyone else at the office, obviously. Wouldn't be a horror game otherwise. It's raining, hurry! Get inside, you're melting! Alright, guess I'll head to the back and get started. You want to make a cup of coffee first? <gasps> what? <gasps> Who's that? Is he trying to call? Hi, Rebecca. <sighs> Mr. Delver, I need help. Someone's outside the mortuary. Just try to stay calm. What? This is very sudden, but listen to me. We have to start right away. I'm sorry. I didn't know until it made itself known this morning that it was here, let alone bound to you. Oh. Uh -huh. I had no way of knowing the possession had started. <gasps> Look, this isn't funny. Stop. You need to take this seriously. You need to act quickly. This is 
insane. I'll just leave. I'll, I'll just fucking leave. You can't leave, Rebecca. I, I can't allow that for you or for others. It's far too dangerous. <laughs> what am I supposed to do then? Most bodies I work with at night are fine. So we stay calm. Okay? We embalm, file the paperwork, everything. Treat it like a normal day. Staying focused will help. I left some things for you on the desk. I'll call again when you get to the embalming room. No, wait. So it is him, yeah. What the fuck? This is insane. Okay. This is so stupid. It's just some hazing for the new girl or something. Just, <laughs> just play along and do your job. That would be a good, uh, yeah, good guess. Okay, got some keys. What's that? Matches. One left. Oh, good. Uh, use the key. Hall key? I fucking quit it tomorrow. I mean, who does something like this? That's not it. Oh. Oh, God. Alright, listen carefully. I'm, look, I'm sorry, but this entire thing is extremely unprofessional. If this is how you treat new hires, I don't think I can work for you. This isn't funny. Rebecca, you don't have to believe me, but I hope you do before it's too late. The only way to save yourself is to banish the demon before you're too far gone. To do that, you will need to learn the demon's name, bind it to its chosen body, and burn it in the retort. Uh. Look, <laughs> I know this is a lot to take in. I wish I could do more for you. I had years to learn what I know. You have hours. Okay. I've recorded a number of cassettes to instruct you in the hope that having a physical object with a known message will help you stay grounded. Okay. I won't be calling again. You can't trust the phones. Anything can be manipulated. Listen to the tapes. Learn the demon's name. Burn the correct body. What if it's my body? The most important thing in the room is in that cabinet. Open it up. Good luck, Rebecca. Oh, this one. <gasps> I'm sorry this had to happen. The one that was locked in the demo. This is insane. Whatever. Just be the professional one, grab a body, and get started. Can I grab these? One, night shift system. The night shift database. A computer program combining all my findings into one reference point. The database contains all the information on the process of expulsion, the tools used, and most importantly, all the markings of the known demonic names. If you ever forget what to do, replay these tapes or look it up in the database. Okay. The collection of demonic names is the most crucial piece to the puzzle. You will need this information. Cool. My ID card is in my personal belongings drawer. On the back is the passcode to access it. Use it. Drawer. The Book of Typhon con conversions. Six Typhon. Oh, six. Typhon walked among his disciples and he spoke. He who does not truly let the Lord into his heart shall be judged by his sin and destined to serve those who truly believe. For all are assigned to the halls of hell. Abandon God as he has abandoned you. Bring Lucifer into your hearts and revel in his glorious sin, for all are damned. There is no hope of God. All are marked for the houses of hell as all are hopelessly lost. You have been left behind. As And as he passed, Onoran looked upon Typhon with disgust, disgust and said, I will not turn my eye from God. Satan has no dominion over the Lord's creation. By the bar, the Lord. Typhon looked onto Onoran. Onoran? One ran and said, pray as you wish, fall to your knees at this moment and call to God. Perhaps today he will step down from the heavens and all doubt shall vanish. Pray to nothing and behold the truth. I will take from your God's creation the ashes of man, for it burns eternal in sinful fire. Typhon held the charred remains of Dorod and walked among his disciples, spreading his ash upon their flesh. Setting the reeds in his hand ablaze, he said unto Onoran, See now that all are marked in the glory of Satan. 
Anaran beheld a flash of light upon the skin of each disciple as Typhon passed, and from it he saw a mark burn deep into their flesh. One of three for the houses of hell, for we are all destined to serve his higher purpose. And Typh Typhon, Typhon extended the ashes of the rod to the hands of Onoran and said, Fourteen bear the forgotten flesh upon your own. Ignite its sin and accept the true God. Well then. Pleasant. That's three. There's number two. screw all of whatever this is I'm getting back to work this looks like a cool puzzle honestly two to banish a demon to hell it must be bound to its chosen body and burned the three objects in this cabinet are your tools first the clay tablet in the center is called a mark placing the smaller pieces in the correct configuration mm -hmm. will spell the demon's name second Bottles on the top shelf are a special reagent that will react to the mark. Add a bottle to the embalming mixture during the process. When the mark is placed on the correct body with the reagent inside, it will force the demon to become bound to it. Okay. Pay attention to signs that you have chosen correctly. They can be obvious or extremely subtle. Mm. Once you are certain the demon is bound to its vessel, burn it. Finally, Pieces of paper on the right are called letting strips. It must inscribe the sigils of its name in our world to begin the evocation. You will need to uncover these sigils to use them. Hold a letting strip up while wandering the mortuary. If it begins to smolder and burn, you're close. Oh. When the paper combusts, the sigil has been revealed somewhere in that area. They can be anywhere. So look on walls, under objects, inside furniture. Anywhere. The demon will inscribe its sigils over time to try and hide them, so check regularly. Once you uncover the sigils, use the Night Shift database to decide which demon you're dealing with, and use that knowledge to create the mark. The steps are simple. Add the reagent to the embalming mixture, uncover the sigils, build the mark and place it on the body. Then, when you're certain, burn it in the retort. Okay. Letting strip. Special piece of scripture with the ability to reveal demonic markings. When a demonic marking is near... Okay. Okay. At every moment, the demon is funneling its energy through you, weakening you, until you are unable to resist. Identifying a demonic entity is a delicate balance. The further you are from possession, the more time you have. The closer you are, the more the demon will make itself known. Allowing you the information like to guess its name things. and the body it's bound to. The only way I've found to tell how far along a possession is on your own is to scribble on a piece of paper. Don't think about it. Just scribble. Hmm. Look carefully. If you notice anything strange, scribble, scribble. it's starting to take hold. There's a notepad and a pencil on the desk in the front room. Checking from time to time can give an idea of how long you might have. Mm -hmm. It's me! Can I take that pencil? Ooh, keys. Extra keys to the mortuary. <laughs> that smile. Raymond, I really need a key to the hatch outside. Cleaner is low and you mentioned having some down there before. I know you don't trust anyone to go down there, but having a copy of the key would make things a lot easier for everyone. Okay, the cleaner is outside. When we run out. Okay, I am not ready for this dude to show up. The weird, like, little demonic dude, remember? Can we have some extra light in here? Is there like a light switch? Oh, that's bad. That's with the light, huh? Tubing. Oh, it has labels on the thing. Oh. What's that?
That's a long code. Okay. Got it. Secrets. He said, grab a pencil. Uh, uh-huh. Okay. I guess that's it then. Okay. Let's roll out. Oh, I need to open the door. Oops. Mm, I don't want to be here. I don't like it. Nope. Yes, burn them. Burn them all. Just burn all- wait, why wouldn't you just burn all three of the bodies? Play it safe, you know? Chas, Melina, Frederick, Cook, and Pedro. Let's start with Pedro. Huh? I wanna look up, but- Oh god, here we go! Building. Nah, that's- Fuck me in here. Scare the shit out of me. Why would you even say that? Why would you even build- Like, might as well blame the wind. Did his eyes just open, or were they open already? Because I am seeing things. There must be a better way to turn this. Maybe it's just my weird sensitivity. Yeah, maybe it is... Okay, what if I... Do this? Oh! That is very slow. Uh... But maybe it helps. Maybe it helps with this. Yeah, it does! Woohoohoo! Okay, much better. Look at his little feet! <laughs> there they go! Oh, I thought that was- that roll was a head. Alright, let's check you out. Let's start with observing. He has some marks there. Just some zits. <laughs> Fuck. Hello? Bruh. Nope, nope. New job. I'm getting out of here. I mean, what are you gonna do? He locked the door. You went to school. You go your path. Fuck this. Fine. Maybe. I heard no. that some of the whispers were like, Maybe "You don't want to leave. You don't want to. Everything's fine. It's it's fine." No, I, I you're just you're just as much as I'm just saying things. I just need to get back to work. Who? It's it's fine. Oh. Ho ho. Okay. This is a special kind of hill. Got it. Oh. Birthmark. Back to work I go. So <laughs> I'm just immediately like, I'm getting ooh, birthmark. So stupid. I ain't afraid of no ghost. I'm definitely afraid of ghosts. Dude, you have a lot of markings. Wait, they're not moles, are they? They're a little bit too bumpy. There we go. That looks like a mole. So now we put that in on the computer. Oops. Blemishes. 
Contusion on the left shoulder. Hemangioma. What's that? Blemishes on the left arm. A mole on the right. It was a mole. What is hemangioma? Usually a benign vascular tumor derived from blood vessel cell types. Most common form is seen in infants. Strawberry mark. Oh. It does. It did look like a strawberry. Anytime I go away from the computer, I'm like, did anything change? Anyone here trying to spook me? I need to file the copy up front. Awesome, I can do that. Hello? Where was that? Who was knocking? Oh, hell no. Oh, okay. Uh, it's time to embalm. Wait, what shook you just now? Why are you shooketh, my dear? Hey, who closed this? Did I? Did I close the door? I mean, I like the fact that the door is closed. Keep them all closed. It's just me and what's his face. Okay, let's do the creepy thing again. Let's wire his jaw shut with needle injector and setting needles. Okay. Um. Needle injector, that's this, isn't it? Yeah. And setting needles. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Let's do it. Yeah, I hate it. Hate it. I still hate it. Don't like it. Why doesn't it work? Okay. Dude, I hate this. There we go. That's nasty. That shit's nasty, okay? <sighs> it's her eye caps. <laughs> okay. There we go. Okay, great. All right. <laughs> This is the hum. Yeah. That was one. Right? <laughs> no. <gasps> yeah, hum is one. Do you think there's someone there? Hello? <laughs> Who we knocking? Don't like it. What's this one? Form. That's one. Um, this one? Bleaching agent. No, that's not it, is it? Um, glut. I don't think I added glut yet. Okay. Methanol and reagent in the old cabinet. Oh, yeah. I hope they don't mind me putting this in. I'm so sorry if you're innocent. I'm just doing my job. Hmm. Don't like that. I need methanol. Where is it? What does it look like? This is it. <laughs> okay. That's that. Now we need to make an incision. Scalpel. Top drawer. Yep. 
doesn't look very sterile, but I guess... I guess it doesn't matter if the body's already dead. Does it? Blech. Blech. Here we go. Okay, so does it react to anything? That's a lot of blood. Thinning out. So how do we check if... Okay. How do we check if he's the one now? So he had the reagent in him. When the mark is placed on the correct body, with the reagent inside, yeah. it will force the demon to become bound to it. Okay. Pay attention to signs that you have so is it this thing? They can be obvious or extremely subtle. Once you are certain the demon is bound to its vessel, burn it. Finally, the pieces of paper on the right are called letting strips. It must inscribe the sigils of its name in our world to begin the evocation. Mm -hmm. You will need to uncover these sigils to use them. Hold a letting strip up while wandering the mortuary. If it begins to smolder and burn, you're close. When the paper combusts, the sigil has been revealed somewhere in that area. Okay. They can be anywhere. So look on walls, under objects, inside furniture. Anywhere. Okay. The demon will inscribe its sigils over time to try and hide them. So check regularly. <gasps> Once you uncover the sigils, Jesus. use the night shift database to decide which demon you're dealing with. And use that knowledge to create the mark. So it's like here? The steps are simple. Add the reagent to the embalming mixture. Uncover the sigils. Build the mark and place it on the body. Then, when you're certain, burn it in the retort. So there's a mark here somewhere? How do I find it? That scared the shit out of me. Dude. So I know there's a sigil around here somewhere. But I don't really know what to look for. Oh. Smash it. Throw the vase! <laughs> Yeet! <laughs> that was an achievement! Okay, but nothing on the vase. This is probably not the right area, right? It was... It started to, like... It was on fire when I was here. But he says it could be anywhere. How do I find it? So we're looking for these symbols, right? Ooh, perfect. I'm gonna take a picture of that. Now I know what I'm looking for. So it's not here. It's literally a game of like cold, cold, hotter, hotter. You're you're on fire. Okay, so it's right here. Oh. Oh, that's how it works. I just put it away just at the last minute. Okay. So it's the third one. It's an L. So as we keep going, we're going to find more of that. Cavity fluid, then insert trucker. Yep. 
Don't like it. His chest looks weirdly, like, puffy. I hear laughing. I hear laughing. There we go. I definitely heard laughing. I some I heard someone faintly laughing. Don't like it. Okay. Mix cleaners and bathroom closet. Oh, damn it. <laughs> she in the bathroom. Will you help me? Nope. Nope. That's enough of that. You're so skinny. Small photo, 1970. Year of arrival of the house of death. Birth of its creator. Full number shall be six. Hmm. Okay, I didn't like that. Okay. Not 1970, is it? Okay. Okay. Thigh moisturizer. Okay. This is where it got freaky last time, but let's do our best. I can't use that here. Yeah, you can. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. All right. Playing solo, achievement unlocked. Return the body. <sighs> Don't like this. Was it Pedro we started with? So did I finish the form? Oh, yeah, reset. Okay. So... Frederick next? Let's go. Frederick. <laughs> Little toes. Frederick, my boy. I saw that. I saw that. That was so subtle. I don't like this. Yeesh. Okay, Frederick. Only 35, poor boy. Um, let me look, take a look at your head. Any other things? No. Oh, what's that? Where are the little markings? I wonder what it is. Oh, I forgot the shoulders. There we go. Okay. 
Let's put him in the system. Wait, I actually haven't tried putting... Oh, I did. Okay, entry two. Contusion on the head. Contusion, blemishes, carrot, keratolysis. What are those little markings? Pitted keratolysis is a bacterial infection that affects the skin on your feet. The condition causes a foul odor and itchiness. You're most at risk if you have sweaty feet and wear shoes that don't offer airflow. Antibiotics treat the infection. Hmm. Superficial bacterial skin infection. Characterized by crater-like pits and malodor. I'm not going to Google Images for that one, but now we know. The lights are off. You go back now and be a good bed, okay? Where's the light switch? Uh, there it is. Okay. <sighs> Keep it closed. Okay, Frederick. Uh oh yeah, we need to put the we need to file the report. Got it. Let's go. Don't knock. Put that in there. Okay. Well, here we go again. Ugh, I think this is the weird the the worst one for me. The fact that you have to like the little cracking sound as well as you shoot into the bone. Not a fan. Nope, definitely not a fan. There we go. Honestly, all I can think of when I sew their mouth shut is just like <coughs> like they didn't wanna they didn't want you to do that yet. Open wide. Clink, clink. Uh oh, and shut. Right. What? Did something just run over? What? Should we try another burn thingy? <sighs> what? There's one here. Oh, it's off here. Where did it appear? Oh, there. Okay, L3. Got it. Should we try it again? Let's see if there's anything in the back. No? Front again. Okay, I think I have it for now. Yeah. 
My beautiful car. Oh, it opens. Can I leave? You want to leave? Can I leave? Oh, no. I always like it when games put in an ending like that. Um, I don't think I can start the car, though. I don't think anyone tried, probably. <sighs> Too bad. Okay, let's go back to the body. I almost made it out. What? Where'd that come from? Hmm. Okay. So, embalming fluid. You got it. Wait, did I not pick up that? Okay, then it was tubing and artery. There we go. I'm missing something. Scalpel. I want to head one step. These mm, and these. We need four markings, don't we? Yeah. Can I put them in already? I think it's that one. No, we can't. Okay. Another one done. Definitely getting used to it now. Now that I've done it a couple times. That was a good spot. A lot of fluid went in there. The sound. There we go. Whoosh. Mix cleaners again. Okay. Oh, we're gonna be out of cleaner stuff for the next- Oh no, wait, maybe this whole row's fine. Clean the tank. Moisturizer. I can do that while the tank cleans, can't I? Oh. Dude, I sewed your mouth shut. There's no way you can do that. Did a door just... Did I just hear a door? Oh, something's happening. My vision's changing. Rebecca? <sighs> Are you sure? Head over to Grandma. What is mom. this? That's your mom? You stupid bitch. Hate me all you want. He's dead because of you. Mm. You should be the one. Oh! Ah! Life. Oh! Life. No! Oh. Hmm, you want my body? I know, I'm kinda hot. Everyone wants a piece of this ass. Okay. 
Why are you open? I closed you. Now, let me moisturize your face! Again? Can't a woman work in peace? What? Frederick, I know. I'll come back and put you in. In a little sec. You're almost done. Am I done? Yeah, I am. Come on, Frederick. Your storage compartment is really excited to see you. Night, night. Okay. So... Oh no, it's time for Chas Melina. Who's talking? Did the ceiling get taller or did I just not pay attention? I heard someone. You coming with me, Chas? I don't like it. I am not a fan. Do we still have one? I do. Let's see if we can find another mark. Something seems. <gasps> Where was it? Z. Okay, that's three. Nice. Give him a good check. Hmm. I wonder what happens after these three bodies. Anything on the leggy? No. How about this leg? Oh. Found something. That's almost standing there. <laughs> there we go. Okay. I'm just gonna go here and do my work. Chaz. 34. Left shoulder. Right arm, left arm, and a left leg. Heck yeah. Print that for me. Cool. Ooh, that gave me goosebumps. Ah! Oh. Holy shit. <gasps> I'm outside! No! Go back inside! Ooh. That's not it. Oh, damn it. Crawl. I would literally crawl through the window. I would not be out here. I can't bet. I can't see anything. It's so dark. Where are you? A tree? I don't know. How did I get it outside? It's still not too late to get in your car and scram. Oh. That really, like... That scare crawled up my arms. That lady staring at me and just, like, slinking away. I hate that shit. I could literally feel it, like... The scare went across my arm. Mm -hmm. No. Hate it. Did I put the... Oh yeah, that's what I was gonna do. Ugh. Wait, was the light off? Was it? 
Did they just run through? Hmm. Okay. So. We're gonna do this again, huh? Should I? I don't have a thing. I should always have a thing on hand. Let's go. Do, 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 do. Mark number four. Where are you at? I wonder. We basically have one. What if there's like one on the body? That would be cool. I'm still not quite sure what I'm doing exactly with this. So I'm getting those marks, but then what do I do with the marks? You know, it's probably one in here. Or not. I guess we need to progress through the game. <sighs> what happened? Did someone push me? What? That was a confusing one. Um. Okay. Let's get started. Yuck. Yuck. Don't like it. Icky. 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 Rebecca, come down here. What? Oh. Rebecca. Ooh. Huh. Rebecca. I'm coming. Oh, I don't like it. Rebecca. Hi. Is he the bad guy? Is he sacrificing me? Bruh. It's a key. Four. <gasps> oh my god! Holy shit, that was a good one. I set myself up for that one. Whoa, that was so good. You don't have a number. He's here again, isn't he? Seven. Oh. Wait. Wait, go back. This is the combination under the cabinet. So one is the first digit. Yeah, because it's six digits. Pen and paper, boyos! One. Okay. What was the other one? The last digit is four. I should still. Okay. And another four before that. Gotcha. Who else we got? Dude, this is fucking awesome. Give me a little bit of a puzzle element. I'm so happy. Seven is the third digit. was looking at me earlier. Zero. I need one more. I need the second digit. Yeah, was that one looking at me before? Oh yeah, see now it's looking away. Oh yeah, it turns when you zoom in. Huh. 
there you are. Nine. One nine seven oh four four. Drinking it. That's the lady we saw in the bathroom. Oh, he's pointing too. Dude, that looks so cool. He looking at me. That my grade? Cool. David Whitlow. Oh, dead and forgotten. Let's take a good look at that mark behind him too. I feel like that might be on the the thing. Okay. I got it. <laughs> so excited to use the code. Am I be buried? <gasps> By him! He did say though that I couldn't trust anything. So that we might just be seeing things. He might not actually be burying us. He did try to bury us? No, we're just laying in the yard. There's no... Yeah. You want to try it again? That's not it. Okay. Let's go do the code. I'm excited! One, nine, seven, oh, four, four. Hatch key. <gasps> Dude! Hatch key! Wait, should I. Oh! here, isn't it? No. Where is it? Do. Here I gotta do. Oh yeah, that kind of looks like mm, then. Oh, there might be a little dot here as well. I'm not sure. Okay, so we have the do L three with that do actually do and do and then it okay oh I did remember it um and then the it. So what do I do with that? You should have fucking died. I will slip your ass in them, and your last vision as they wither will okay. be flesh being peeled from your legs, and all that will be left is eternal pain and darkness. You will beg me to take your pathetic carcass. Oh, I guess then you're not see if you notice anything strange. It's starting to take hold. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Placing the smaller pieces in the correct configuration will spell the demon's name. Okay. Second, the bottles on the top shelf are a special reagent that will react to the mark. Add a bottle to the embalming mixture. The fuck was that the sound? When the mark is placed on the correct body with the reagent inside, it will force the demon to become bound to it. Pay attention to signs that you have chosen correctly. Oh. They can be obvious or extremely subtle. Once you are certain the demon is bound to its vessel, burn it. Finally, the pieces of paper on the right are called letting strips. It must inscribe the sigils of its name in our world to begin the evocation. 
Oh, fuck. You will need to uncover these sigils to use them. Hold a letting strip up while wandering the mortuary. If it begins to smolder and burn, you're close. When the paper combusts, the sigil has been revealed somewhere in that area. They can be anywhere. So look on walls, under objects, inside furniture. Anywhere. The demon will inscribe its sigils over time to try and hide them. So check regularly. Once you uncover the sigils, use the night shift database to decide which demon you're dealing with. And use that knowledge to create the mark. The steps are simple. Add the reagent to the evolving mixture. Uncover the sigils. Place it on the body. <gasps> oh, that dude, fuck. Don't like it. Fuck that guy in particular. Okay, let's place it on the body. Are you sure this is the right one? No. How do I... How can I tell? I need to choose the right body, right? I also... Okay, I'm gonna look in the basement. Um, how big is this building? Can I... That dude's so creepy. Okay, so what are we gonna do here? What, what is this? Dear Mr. Salah, it was a pleasure working with you, but I'm sorry to have to say I simply can't afford to travel back out to you. I have more questions about the Athenian translations, but I was also hoping you could send over the documents you had shared on quarter letting. Honestly, any documents you could create copies of and send would be extremely helpful. The package accompanying this letter contains some of the clay carvings I have made in an attempt to create the symbols you shared. I have also designed a holder for them. My hope is to combine the markings and holder to comprise a demonic identifier that will also call the entity to it and bind it there, if correct. Okay. The silver capsule in the center of the holder contains the ash of burnt kofris. Okay, and is lined with demon demonic calling runes. Based on our conversations, I believe this can react with fresh blood from the possessed. I wanted to requ request that you give the contents of this package a look and let me know if this seems like a viable method to bind an entity. With privacy also being extremely important to me, I wanted to request you please send everything back, including this letter. All my best, Raymond. Mr. Delver, it is a great shame I will not be seeing you, but I appreciate you sharing this with me as it did, as this does seem to provide a reaction and what you have made does make sense. It's a very clever way to identify a specific entity. However, I am curious as to the reason for the body identification aspect as you would need the blood of the possessed inside the vessel, which I assume would already be the case and ten tenancy would be obvious. So I don't really see the value of identifying the vessel. However, the demonic identification and binding aspect of this is fantastic. Thank you for sharing your work. It's a great help to mine. As you have requested, I have returned everything with this shipment. With great respect, Akil. Can we put our blood in there? If we put it in the machine, put it in a body. So he was making these. I'm missing something. Oh, we can play tapes. I'm not sure why I've decided to write this. I don't keep journals, but it may be the only way I can deal with what's happened. To get my thoughts out. I thought this was over, but it's happened to David. I remember so vividly what it looks like. I don't have any plan here. I just wanted to write. I keep thinking about David. I feel horrible. What he became was terrifying. I remember everything, but I haven't seen it in a living person before. I knew in my gut what was happening, but I couldn't believe it. It's almost It's been almost two decades. When the body came in, David almost instantly began to become irritable. We, no we both knew something strange was happening, but it directly affected him. He felt sick and went home for the day, only to return that evening saying that he felt he had to come back and wanted to work. At that point, I couldn't ignore it. 
I tried to tell him he was in danger, but this was all real. He insisted on working, became irrational again, asked to work alone. I again told him what to look for, but he dismissed me. I went and bought a camcorder and told him to at least record anything unusual. I wanted to be able to show him once he was in a moment of clarity so that maybe he could allow me to help him, but it all happened so fast and was over. I don't know what else to do. I feel helpless. I'm so sorry, James. Hmm, Andrea now. It won't stop. I don't know what to do. Obviously not everyone is susceptible. I've learned that much. It, I've learned that much. It makes me want to never hire anyone again, but I can't lose the mortuary either. Even if I did close, it would still happen to me eventually. I'm back to writing here again. It's been so long I thought it was over, but I guess I've just been lucky. Two years. I'm scared I was hoping this would never happen again, but I have a feeling this is only going to happen more. Poor Angela. This is a horrible existence. I almost fell victim before. It's only a matter of time now until it chooses me. I don't want to be alone, but I think there is no escaping what has happened. I will miss you always, Maria, but it was the right thing to leave you, to keep you safe. I know you would never understand. I tucked his journal away and forgot about it, trying to move on. I found it again today, and I guess I have been in a horrible place for a while now. I can't live with all this guilt. I feel so alone, I feel so angry at the life that's been taken from me. I stopped my life to take care of her, and she brought this in. I can't blame her. That's not fair. It's not her fault. I have to find a way to stop this myself. I've just been sitting here, huddled in fear, hoping this wouldn't happen again. That it won't happen to me. I don't have much money, but I need to start researching this in a real way. I need to take control. Interesting. Videotapes, too. Can we play those? He made so many. Huh, <laughs> a little oven for the clay. I've been working relentlessly and I believe I have made some progress. I haven't pieced together much, but I have found enough that has led me to a contact in Egypt. I'm flying over there in a few days to meet and talk about what's been happening. My trip to Egypt was extremely successful, I feel. I'm broke now, but it was worth it. Mr. Salah is an amazing help. I've come back with mountains of documents and copies of religious texts I had no idea existed. It's changed a lot of what I believe. I'm going to start poring over these and see what I can piece together. There's something here, I can feel it. I'm so tired and angry, I feel so helpless. I can't do this anymore. Valerie didn't do anything to deserve this. None of them did. I can't bring myself to do it. I'm keeping Valerie here. I can help her, I'm sure of it. I feel like I'm so close to something that I can stop this, but I don't know what I'm missing. I've been working on a number of things meant to combat these entities. I found ways to uncover their sigils, which is promising. I have distilled this down to a science and I know I can find the missing piece. I will help you, Valerie. I hate what I have to do. I have to feed her and care for her even though she is violent and gone. It is far too similar to how this all began and I hate it. God damn it, 30 years of this. I have a theory and I don't like it, but I can't let this happen to anyone else. This has to stop. I have some things I've been working on that I am going to send off to Mr. Sla and get his opinion. If it's a viable method, I'm going to take this head on. If I can't stop it, I'll keep it at bay. I've received some great news from Mr. Sala. I've been fortunate enough to not have another compromised body up to this point, but now I need one. My plan is to work in the mortuary alone until this happens again. If I can establish myself as a potential conduit and survive the possession using these tools, I think I may be able to take control as well as keep this from happening to others. I don't know what this means for Valerie. It's the only piece of this I don't know how to live with, but I might have to. Otherwise, it's all been for nothing. Hmm. Okay. Oh, you're out there. <gasps> Hello. Oh, I knew you'd find me. Our secret below. That was a great game. Oh, her hand is here. How long has she been in here? Um. Yeah, I'm not letting her out. Oh. Do you think this one was for me? 
Hmm. Okay. Let's go back. Oh, there was a lady in the basement this whole time. Do you think it's the girl that we saw crying in the bathroom? Okay. So we have... We have the sigil, but I don't know how to choose what body. Should I finish my work? I can't? Do I not have the... Am I too far gone? Oh yeah, I can't open my... Can I wheel him? I can't hold anything else. I think my game is bugged. Yeah, I can't even open my menu actually. Like, my game menu. Probably crashed. Hi. Can you help me with my bug? I think I'm gonna have to alt F4. Let's hope it auto saved. <gasps> Wait, cassette tape. I didn't see that one before. Oh. I'm missing something. We haven't listened to this. Catching up to where I was. I literally just closed it. <gasps> Dude, not cool. Okay, what was I doing? Now nah, we'll do it. If I can. Yes. Hum. Form. Okay. Well, I managed to drain the body. Which is a little bit more than I was able to do last time. I'm trying to see if I can get these marks to come back, but I don't think so. Um, okay. This is a good sign. I'm hoping that I can at least finish up the body and put it away so that we can choose. <gasps> Something happened to your eyes, though. <laughs> um, maybe not. Yeah. Don't you love your Let's not do that. I'm just gonna. Oh, I can't. Are you all wet and cold? I'm not gonna do it. Oh. <laughs> Oof. Okay, we're still in it. Great. I think the big thing with the bugs is that we shouldn't do anything 
I already have one of those. While an event is happening like that. Then we should be fine. That's why the tubes didn't work, because the the dudes started calling out to me. I don't know how I'm gonna put the blood in though. There we go. Put the blood in the body. Okay, now we need the cleaner. I think this is when we should go to the hatch, because maybe now we're out of cleaner. Or not. No, we're not. So now I have it? Yes. Okay. Um... Clean the tank. We're almost done. Moisturize the face and then we can put him away. Cool. That's clean. Alright. He's done. Yes. Who's that? Who was that? Uh. Okay, things are getting wild with the third body. So how are we gonna find out which one is the right one? But wouldn't it be any body that we just put um, our blood in? Then? Well, for now, this is done. Um, it's not letting me pick the seals anymore, but I know I know the combination, so it should be okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's put that away. I guess I could drop the clipboard now as well. Let's go to the basement a third time. <laughs> Check all the things again. I feel like we need to get her blood. Maybe I should bring a scalpel. See if I can pour it into the bucket. Rebecca! Where was that? That was so loud. Rebecca! Oh, are you calling me? Oh! Light, please. We good? Oof, that was creepy. Okay, I'm gonna bring a scalpel. See if I can get her blood to appear in the bucket. Yeah, the sigil isn't reappearing, okay. Um I feel like I should be able to use my own blood and drain like a safe amount, but... I can't use that here. Okay, well, I tried. Hmm. 
I wonder if there's a way to save yourself and save her with that seal that's on her coffin. That's the demon that's in her, maybe? Okay, what if we just pick a body at random and wheel it into the furnace? What if we do that? <laughs> Jesus. Don't push me. So aggressive. Okay, Pedro, Frederick, or Chas. Well, Frederick actually is the only one who's been walking around, so you know what? I'll go with him. At the very least, it'll be an interesting thing to try out. Ooh, he didn't like that. What happened? What's that? Oh, dude. Um, how am I going to wheel you in? You don't like it? I mean, seriously, though, at this point, wouldn't you just burn everybody? Like, what does it matter? Okay, uh, you're up. Pedro? Let's try it on you, huh? At least he's behaving for now. So that works. Mm hmm. It says, when is that door open like that? Okay, I'm just trying to- oh, hi! There you are! I'm just trying to shoot for an ending right now. If Frederick isn't cooperating... Uh -huh. I'm gonna try! Not want to stay in there. Nice. You got sucked out or sucked back in. What happened? Good morning. <gasps> it's nice not to be the one down there for a change. Uh, Raymond? Uh, I suppose a first name basis is in order. Uh. D did I make it? Is it over? For now. It's never really over. You've come a long way. I feel like I have a lot to learn. I feel like this is not I'm the so actual glad ending I'm here. I know it's disorienting. You'll get used to it. You should head home and get some rest. Every night can be different. I think I'm fine. Are you sure? You seem out of it. Yeah, I've been through a lot. I oh, should go home. I've just been waiting. For so, <gasps> so long. I am possessed. What are you? Oh no, you chose the wrong demon. 
Rebecca. Rebecca's not here, you fucking idiot! I'm so worthless. Watch your foolish boy. And drink it as it melts from your pit of a frame. Whoa! Let me in. Okay. Possession ending. Got it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I was so close. If I just found a way to either drain... I feel like there's probably a way to save yourself and the girl in the basement. Because I feel like we can... The way it's set up, you can like drain her blood and then use it to inject it into a body or something. I'm, I couldn't quite figure out how to pick a body and I don't, I don't know if it's just... Because it's buggy, because it crashed two times on me, or it broke. It didn't crash, but like I just couldn't open menus anymore. I couldn't do anything. So I was, it made me very careful to try out things because I was worried I would just crash it again. So I think what I'm gonna do, I do really like it, and I kind of wanna see the other endings. So there's four more endings, right? I think what the best course of action is for now is to wait, wait for a couple bug fixes so that it gets a little bit more stable and then maybe do one more video to get like other endings. But I do really like this ending too. Now I understand it said something like 10 hours of gameplay and I was like, is this such a long game? But it's you to get all the endings, you probably need to dig a little deeper maybe it was because i didn't finish up frederick's or i didn't wheel him out to the thing first to put the plaque on him and i just tried to wheel him or did i i already don't remember i don't know if that if maybe that was the right body but honestly it was a guess at the end of the day i didn't figure it out so i'm happy to maybe go back to it in a stream or something i don't know if i put it on youtube but i'll probably come back to it on twitch and um, figure it out, figure out the other endings if we want to. But for now, I'll leave it here. I got an ending. And I think, honestly, it wouldn't be too bad. I think you, I can get really quick at, like, preparing the bodies. It wouldn't be too bad, honestly. So maybe worth to revisit. Um, let me know if you liked it. Leave a like if you did enjoy it. And um, hopefully we'll get more of this soon. But I, I would like to wait for a couple bug fixes. Just to make it a little bit more stable. It is day one after all, so bugs are to be expected. Can't be helped. Totally fine. Uh, but maybe let's wait for it to be a tiny bit more stable. Thank you so much for watching.